Welcome to Baker Day Presents. We're here today at Temple University in the kitchens of Johnson and Harbor Hall. It's a working kitchen, so you might hear some noises or might be some people in the background. Today, I have a very dear friend, an old friend of mine that I've worked with for the last 16 years here at Temple University, Walter Gordon. And he has brought with him his recipe for lasagna coming right up. Welcome, Walt. How are you doing? I'm good, Dave. Pleasure to have you here. This is a dear, dear friend of mine. I've worked the entire 16 years I've been here. You've been here. 26 years. So even longer. There we go. Uh, yeah. So what are we making today, buddy? Uh, we're going to make that famous lasagna. That, like, Why is that famous? What makes it so famous, your lasagna? Everybody I makes mean, lasagna. I made it before for a former employee. They, didn't get, they couldn't get enough, huh? Well. Ah, uh, she came back with phone numbers for me to, you know, get in contact with So this is like your people. thing, like everybody knows you for your lasagna now. I mean, it's a beautiful thing. You it, gotta love it. I, I love your lasagna. You I'm not trying it. to say I don't love your lasagna. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Right. So, 26 years you've been here. Yes. At Temple. At Temple. Well, uh, where did you, you work before that? Like, did you literally, you like, were well, born into this place? Because you look pretty young. I mean, what are you... Well, thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> but, um, no, I used to work at Centaz, a uniform company. Oh, okay. Yeah, a little tour okay. there for a minute. You know. This is your first real cooking job? I wouldn't say that. My grandma taught me well. Oh, okay. And yeah. she paid you? Well, I wouldn't say I mean, that. you said it's a job. Ate. I'm saying that you got paid. My tank got full. Okay, you know. so that you were paid in food. That's nice. Right. I mean, Did your grandmother make lasagna? Well, she made this dad and the other. So that, I mean, she made everything. Yes, okay. yes, She's a yes. great cook, huh? Great cook. Really great got cook. you interested I mean, in cooking at this, at this point. This, that's what I'm talking about. So I just wanted to say, like, I remember the first time I met you. Okay. And I didn't tell you I was going to tell the story. Here I'm still going to tell the story. <laughs> I was waiting for this to come first, out. First time I met you, uh, literally, it was like every day you were making mashed, mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes. And I couldn't figure out why. I'm like, why is this guy making there mashed potatoes every day? And I talked to the chef at the time, uh, Brian Austin, I think it was. Yes, Austin. And yep. he starts explaining to me how you messed him up one time, and he decided that you have to make Stayed it from now on. Stayed on. Years you made right. mashed potatoes. Oh, it wasn't that long, day. It, it, it felt like it. Well, it yeah, felt like yeah, it for you, sure, you're right? You're right, you're right. Okay. It was a minute. <laughs> but I'm perfect. But you're the greatest mashed, mashed, mashed potato maker best, I know yeah. now at this point. I'm, I'm not going to lie. All right. So let's talk what other stuff is. Well, we're going to find out right now. We'll get some lasagna in us, right? Yes. So let's get started with this. You start with the meat? Yeah. Yeah, we start with the ground beef. So we got uh, that. put we... my gloves on first. How about that? All right. All right. Yeah, let's, uh, let's do that. Let's do it right. Don't want to contaminate anything. I get exactly. that. Exactly. Safety and... Uh, safety first. Food safety is very important. Yes, indeed. Here okay. at Temple University. Yes. So get the meat Thank going, you, man. sir. All righty. Yeah, One of the yeah, things I noticed meat. about yours, which I think is pretty cool because I'm the same way, mm -hmm. and I feel like I do it wrong. When you watch these cooking shows all the time, right? Okay. They love to start with the vegetables. They put a little oil in, and they start with their onions and oh, peppers okay. and stuff, right? Right. They brown them up, and then they add the meat. And I don't understand why anyone would do that, and I love that you don't. Well, because your meat already has the fat. Why are you adding extra fat to it? Exactly. It seems like a huge waste of time. Well, the ground beef lets off its own, you know, oil. Which is also going to help flavor this stuff, right? Exactly. So, so I'm with you on this. I think, that's, I think it's amazing, and, yeah. I, and I'm, it's a shame that it some works. of those uh, overpaid well, see, first, chefs. What you want to do, you want to brown your ground beef first, you know? There you go. Chop He's, him up. This is the Walt nice show now. Me. He's explaining to <laughs> yes. all of us exactly how this uh, is going to go. Get it pretty much done up Walter here. Walter Gordon presents here yes. at uh, TU TV. Get so it lightly browned a little. We're browning it up. Yeah. When do we add the seasoning in here? Yes. Now, in the seasoning, I want to get a little light brown on him first. So what we're using here, this is, this is called Pepper Supreme. I'm not 100% sure that you can buy this in the grocery store, but you love uh, this stuff. I love it. So it's a simple mix already together. Basically, it has onions, garlic, salt, and like three different types of peppers. It's got right. like a, it's red peppers and green peppers powdered up, but it also has like a cayenne pepper. Exactly. The, you know, so it gives you all the heat, black pepper. All the hot stuff. So you'll get your spices. Give me a little that. Wow, that's it? That's it. The flavor's in here. Okay, okay. okay. 
Plus you have your sauce. It's the layered flavor thing. So yes. you can also, the beauty of this is, is that if you feel like the flavor is not where you want it to be, once you've added your sauce, your meat's already cooked, you can taste it and add exactly. more flavor if you like. Exactly, that's the person. But really that's not the star, this, this is not the star of the show, right? The no, Lugani once it all comes right? together. Now I'm gonna tell you a secret. Uh oh. It's all about the red peppers. The red, red peppers. I did notice you had. I, knew, I noticed you had red peppers in there. That's what does it. I don't always okay. see that in lasagna. Now we have a little light brown on our ground beef. We want to add. Excuse me, Dave. Oh, get our little yes. uh, uh, about a handful of onions. That's all the onions you want? Yes, handful of peppers. I love onions. You sure? I'm positive. See, all right. now we don't want to overdo it. I would overdo it. Yeah, I'm, see, see, I'm, see, that's see. why I'm a baker. And everything's that's not why for everybody, baker, right? Well, I would overdo it. Right, so, but I would, I would definitely, I'd put okay. way too much of that stuff in there if it was now, me. Well, Dave, you don't want to kill the mill. You don't well, want again, to kill the mill. Well, again, that's why you're you and I'm me, and I'm not known for my right. lasagna at all. Okay. Like, nobody's ever grease? asked me for lasagna. You see my grease there, right? Yeah, what's, what's the point of that? Just that it's cooking in with the other stuff? It's, it's, I'm just letting you know that you don't have to put oil in before you start. Which is what we discussed already. You understand? Perfect. There you uh, go. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, now we got our mix going on here. So let's, let's talk more about you. Where are you from? Like you from Philly, uh, there, yes, Philly there? You've yes. been here your whole life? Pretty much. Did you spend any time like overseas or something? You spend any time anywhere else? No. Well, <laughs> I'm from Philly. You know, uh, West Oak Lane. All right. I moved to uh, Jersey, came from Jersey. So the Tri-State area, you haven't really left this area. You're basically born and basically raised here. Yes. Family? You got a family? You got well, kids? I have grown-ups. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, actually, I have a 15-year-old son. OK. So, uh, three more of that son. Uh, you're trying to let me know my age. Well, I think you're. You're agreeing with me. I knew it was coming. I, 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 I knew it was coming, Dave. I'm I knew just it was saying, coming. I mean, we're not that far off. You're a little older than me. Well, but not by much, not by much. We're talking about the food. That, oh, we're talking about you too. I don't understand. <laughs> okay. No, but I have four kids. Okay. Yeah. Family man. Family man, yes. I so mean, you, you get into cooking, right? And you're like, this is it. I this love cooking. It. I mean, I do have other skills, you know. I do the body. I'm not body. doubting your other skills, my yeah, friend. Okay. I'm just, I'm, I'm we're talking about the food, so that's about yourself. the food. Okay. You like cooking? You like, uh, I love cooking. Okay. I mean, I'm like, you can see yourself do this forever. Basically, I have to eat. It's funny because when I'm watching you dance that around there and stuff, that's exactly, I, for years, I remember you were kind of out front, like at the pasta station, yeah. very much interacting with the students here on campus. Exactly. They seem to like you a lot. They loved it, and I um, loved it too. Yeah, yeah, You're, you you're a little bit more behind the scenes now. Yeah, well, a little laid back now, it's, you know. It is what it is, right? Maybe it's, it's the gray in the beard. They don't want you out there with the... Well, we won't talk about <laughs> it. <laughs> I don't know. I'm mean, just asking. We won't go that far, right? Now. Okay, okay. But right, you, you did the same deal. thing. You, you did good in front of people. That's what I'm saying. That's why I thought you'd be perfect for the show. Okay. Well, cool. I'm glad you uh, gave me the chance. All right. So uh, the meat's all ground up. Okay. All we have up. everything all incorporated. It smells delicious. Yes. And spices but you can are really. It, uh, and you out. can smell it. Now it's it? not too much. Like I definitely right. would have done. Now we want to add our sauce. So this is just basically sauce you would get in the Basic store, can, big can of sauce yes, you or whatever. You buy this at any grocery store. You're, you're basically doctoring it up at this point with your other stuff. Basically, yes. So yeah, you have a spatula. So you for know, you, you get everything. It's sauce. Is that what you're saying? You're obviously not Italian. Is that the deal? Well, because I mean, a lot of people they they argue the gravy thing. Well, it's all about doctoring it up in them spices. But it's sauce. It's not gravy, right? Uh, if you're Italian, it's gravy. But, but for if you, it's sauce. It's sauce. Okay. Yes, it's okay. sauce. For you, it's, I just want to click. You might have Italian in you. I don't know, man. They, we uh, haven't gotten that far in your history. You're dodging the age think, questions. I didn't know what was going to happen here. I don't think we have enough time to go further, Dave. We got all the time in the world, man. Oh, you think? Oh, this, okay. could, this could go all day if all you want. Right. How long? Will this be a documentary. Okay. A four-hour Walt Gordon documentary. Well, can, I, can I add on to my meal? <laughs> yeah. Oh. You want to keep going? I, I'm holding you up. I get it. Keep going, man. Is that enough sauce? I'm saying, uh, as far as making lasagna, can we add on some more? Like, uh, oh, well, let's just get the lasagna down first. Oh, okay, all right, it's gonna okay, take time I, in the oven anyway. All right. Is that enough sauce for you? Yes. Now you sure? got the sauce. In. You're sure you got yes. enough sauce? Because we got plenty there. If you need more, uh, we, we'll take it. Okay. Right now. Okay. All righty. We have my pad. All right. All cleaned out, of course. Now, now we got to cook up these noodles, right? Uh, not necessarily. Depending on so this is a big thing. Like I've seen so many recipes where they cook the noodles, mm -hmm. recipes where they don't cook the noodles. You don't okay. cook the noodles. No. So why is that? Well, my thing is that I'm going to cook my 
dish for about an hour. Okay. So in between that time, you know, the noodles will definitely they're going to absorb the moisture exactly, from that. Exactly, exactly. So they, they're going to cook in the thing. Right. So and I know, within that hour, everything's going to be nice. And, and these are literally just regular noodles. Regular like noodles. I noticed that uh, you can go to the store and you can get noodles that are like designed. Yes. To not, and they're a little bit thinner mm -hmm. and they are uh, partially cooked. Yes. You don't need that. You don't. You're probably paying extra for that labeling yeah, well, that makes it sound like it's a big deal, but you don't exactly. need it. You heard it here first, folks. Uh, yes. Chef Walter Gordon says you do not need to buy the special no bake uh, noodles or whatever. No, little no, no time. Just noodles. a little time. That's just, a little time. just a little time. All right, so we got our fancy noodles here. Okay, now I'm going to step over here for a minute and grab my spray. I want to spray my pan. You know, we don't want no sticking. Okay. No, well, we don't want so it stick. might stick if you don't spray your pan is what you're saying. Exactly. Okay. Now I want to. I hope that this definitely doesn't stick. Then that'll be awesome. Yes. See, here's where the extra sauce Oh, comes. so you put regular sauce on the bottom. You don't yes. put the meat sauce right. on the bottom. I want to put okay. a little, you know. And that's going to help around. absorb into the noodles. Yeah, we have it. You're learning, Dave. I, Look, I'm not a, I mean, although it is baking. This, is, this learning, gets baked, right? Dave. So yes. I should know yes. how to do this. Exactly. Okay, you want to fill your pan on the bottom. Grab your little cheese. Okay. Sprinkle a little cheese up in here. Not too much, though, right, or a lot? Uh, you want to basically cover it. You don't want to okay. cover it up so you can't see the Again, I would put, I'd put so much All cheese right. on that, it's not even funny. Now, we got our noodles. One's going to cover that whole thing? That seems uh, ridiculous to me. What are we going to do? We're going we gonna to layer. Oh, ah, okay. We're going to get our layer off. And we want to go across. All right, we go one yeah, let's across. go this way. Well, we're going to, um, you know, we're going to doctor it up. Okay. That looks good, right? Yes, indeed. Dave Baker wants to learn a little thing or two. I, I do. I want to know how to, like, I seriously... Have not, my mother used to make lasagna when I was a kid, right? Okay. And here's where it's a little bit different. I noticed you don't have any like ricotta or anything in it. Right. A lot of times people will mix ricotta in, I think with the it sauce. Depends on that sure. recipe you're working with. My mom used to put cottage cheese in it. I don't know where she got that idea from. Cottage cheese. But instead of ricotta, we used to use cottage cheese in it. Interesting. Still amongst the cheese family. It is a cheese, hence the name cottage right. There we go. So, but you don't do any of that, so keep going. Yeah. Yours so is all. All right, now we want to take our meat sauce. Spread him in. Did you need a, you don't need this, it's no, so thick. No. I was trying to give you no, like we're a. Good. We're good. All right, and even more. less dishes, right? Yes, you want to basically spread it out, you know. How many layers are we doing to this, man? Uh, we're going layers to do about four. You know, three to four, depending on, you know, how you want it size of your family and whatnot okay now, now we want to add a little more, a little more cheese. cheese this is just going to keep going right we're yeah, literally just going to keep layering this we're way layer, layer, right yes i'm gonna put like three to four layers so what's some of your hobbies what do you do outside of this man well because i know you don't just cook all day long every uh, like you don't I'm go a, home and like I'm keep cooking basic, i'm a basic homebody guy you know i like to do things at so you home. keep you go home and cook lasagna <laughs> Well, I leave, I leave the cooking to my wife now. That's nice. You know? That is, that's, I mean, I have because a you, I literally made this statement the other day. Like, people think that when you're a chef or a cook or whatever, that, that you go home and keep cooking for your family. Yeah, exactly. That that's not the work. case. No, no I've got enough cooking work. today. It's time for right. someone else to do that. Right. I want right. to be the customer now. I don't want to be the cook. That's what I'm talking about. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. So what's your favorite dish to eat? Is it lasagna uh, still, or is this is just? Well, that's one of them. I'm a seafood guy. Okay. You know, I like my lobster. You see food and you like to eat it? Uh, oh, you meant actual <laughs> food from the <laughs> sea, am I bad? The baker. It's going down. All right. All right. So now, what else do you do, though? You don't now, just see, seriously. Babe, let me stop you right here. Now, see, you I wanna, messed up. You want to go across. Why? Because you want to get a little fancy there. All right. Now, Maybe I don't. Look, no, your fancy is not even going to fit. Well, it's going to, uh, it's going to, it's Look at that, now I broke it there. We down go. too small. Here we go. Here we go. If it was already right. pre-cooked, I wouldn't have this issue. Here, go. a few. All right, let's get Now that you're thing. making me go crisscross for some all reason. Right. All this you're wasting, though. What are you going to do with this extra noodle? What you can do is slide them right on in. You're covering it up. You'll never know. What if they don't get cooked? They will get cooked. Says okay. Walter. Yes. All right, there we go. Now we're going to do some more sauce. Now you're going to do the regular sauce yeah, now. Yeah, we're going to do the so regular sauce. So you are using more sauce. 
I thought you were mixed all my me up. So uh, what are you trying to say? Oh, so you would have you would have done it that way. I have to improvise here now, okay? Because you need the meat on top too. Exactly. Seriously, I know you do other stuff at home, man, because we discussed it be this before. Well, I'm trying I to mean, get some of your hobbies out of you, you know what I'm saying? I love grass cutting. Actually, that is, no one loves grass cutting. Are you I'm serious? Right? You. No, I'm you do not love ride. grass cutting. They, I bought no one's like, and it's fun. <laughs> it's fun. You are totally showing your age now. Like, it does, the rest of the stuff, <laughs> our discussion doesn't even matter. Like, the fact that you go home and are like, oh, man, I can't wait to get home and get on that lawnmower. I can't wait. I'm like, like a big kid, Dave. It's a lawnmower. It's like a tractor. <laughs> I'm on it. <laughs> okay, I, I can even have my beverage. There's a cup holder in your Yes. House. Dude, I want one of them. What can I? Wait a minute, I'm starting to show my age now. <laughs> okay, carry more on. Cheese. More, more <laughs> cheese. <laughs> so what happens in the weeks where you don't need to mow? Because you can't need to mow every week. I mean, in the middle of winter, you don't mow. I mean, I have a big lawn. So, <laughs> so you save parts of it? I, you, I, you only mow like half of it every week? It? What's that way you can have mow, lawn to mow the next week or what? Well, I don't understand. That's my problem. I have a big, I have a big lawn in the front and a big lawn in the back. Plus, I have the side. Okay, you don't need to brag. My lawn's not that big. I, I gotta thank my wife for that. Okay. You know, because she bought you a lawnmower that you could ride on. Ha! <sighs> she wants the big house. She wants this. Da da da. Yeah. But I she does not work. Oh well. House. Luckily, your wall. And you've worked here for so long that yeah, I guess I could, you can uh, afford a nice house, apparently. Well, we won't talk about that, <laughs> but... Uh. Did you want to get your address out on? No. Uh, uh, yeah, people can stop by and get some lasagna? Uh, no? I'm Broad and Diamond. That's... <laughs> First, this, is, this is based now... Now, I will put, say this. This is exactly how you make it when you make it here, right? Yes. So That's if you do it. come to J&H to get lasagna one night, it would literally be this exact same recipe. Yes, indeed. It would. All right, we're gonna add the rest of the cheese. You're so like, I don't know, careful with your cheese adding. Well, you don't wanna make a mess here, so you know what I mean? If you make a mess, it's more cleaning you have to do. Clean as you go. That's okay. the process. You missed a spot over here. I got Thanks, you. man. Bam! All right, can I, we can put this in the oven now? Yeah. Like, what's going on? Yes, we can wipe him down. All right, we wanna wipe him down first. Because we want it to look neat before it goes in the oven? No one's eating the pan. Ah, now we can go on up it. All right. Okay. So Wait shove it in. Wait for it. Bam. All right. And we're going to bake Fire that up for a while, right? Yes. We want to do that for a little bit. Okay. Looks like it's about done. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Got some nice color on there. Nice. Nice. Yeah, so, uh, brown. let's let that cool a second because, you know, you can't eat oh, yeah. straight out of the oven. You got to let that set. got to let it set for a minute. Why don't we really talk about your acts? Like, you can't... Mowing your grass is not a hobby. Well, that's, I mean, like, I, I get it. You're probably getting excited now just thinking this weekend you're going to go start mowing yeah, some grass. Yeah, but, yeah, you see it in my eyes. But you me. definitely do something else, right? I mean, I know you do. I mean, I've, talked, I've known you for 16 years. We've had lots of conversations. Well, I mean, I like to work on my vehicles, you know. You do. I actually do know that about you. Yeah. I mean, because, it's fun. You know, the weekends, you know, yeah. no action. I, I thought I'd bring up a talk. You don't seem to want to bring this up. I'm going to bring it up anyways. What's that? People don't seem to know this about Mr. Walt here. Uh oh. But you're a rocker. Ah. <laughs> yeah. I know you are because we yeah, talk about guitar yeah, all the time. Like, we both yeah. got a we both got a nice yeah. guitar. Yeah. We haven't jammed yet. We should have brought him today. That would have exactly. been perfect. You know what? I haven't jammed in a minute. It's been. So you're not. I mean, it's hard to, well, I mean, when you have something as exciting as a riding lawnmower, it, <laughs> sometimes guitars take I do second. Work day. I do oh, work. right, right, right. right. Uh, I do work now. Sometimes guitars take, you know, second fiddle to that, yeah, so to well, speak, right? I mean, every chance I get is like a pleasure. You know, so you're it. talking about lawn mowing still, aren't you? And we're talking about playing. Oh, okay. Right, you know, I, know. Was saying, I wasn't it's sure. I wasn't thing. sure. It's like, it's you know. It's a beautiful thing, you know. Who's your favorite musician? What do you like to play? Well, I have an acoustic. Because I'm not going to lie to you, man. When I look at you, and, and this what isn't, see? I see Jimmy. I see Hendrix. Hendrix very I feel like you're a Hendrix, Hendrix. guy. No? I, got, I had that look. I but mean, I'm saying, like, music-wise, do you play that stuff? I can totally, I'm, I can picture you uh, uh, jamming that yes, to some Purple yes, Haze. Yes, you know what I'm saying? Yes, yes. I mean, when I get that, I'd be in another zone. All right. Another zone. Well, let's see if this lasagna is in another zone. Well, how about that? And give this, give this a try, right? Uh, let's see what once we're you, Once you cut up your, All right. your masterpiece. Let's see. Let's, uh, it's fresh out of the oven. 
So I'll put a little towel here. Wait, you don't want to touch it? I don't understand. I don't want to burn my fingers, Dave. <laughs> I mean, I've been cooking for a long time, and you know how the cooks do, but uh, I want to start at the middle. Up so and you're down so delicate like, with your cutting, even. Like, there's some sort of down. technique to cutting. Like, yeah, I would just, skills. like. Them skills, Dave. Can't you just use, like, a pizza wheel or something? Like, you, you make everything uh, such a chore. It's a process. It is a process. It's a process. Yes. Maybe that's what you love about uh, mowing your lawn. It's I mean, the process. The hands on. Look, like, all jokes aside, I've been giving you a hard time about that, but I actually love mowing my lawn. I mean, again, I, it makes me sound like I'm over. But what I love about it's it a is thing. when you're done, like, I feel like I accomplished something. You know what I mean? Exactly. Which is, I mean, it's, it's the other great thing about cooking, too. When you're done, you definitely accomplish something. It you looks have, good. Right, and people tend to like it. It tastes good. Well, that remains to be seen. Uh, <laughs> we'll have to see okay. if that's the All case right. or well, not. Can uh, you get us, a, get us out yeah, of slice that's, here, that's man? What's going on? Grab it right out there. Look at that. That spray was wonderful, man. It didn't stick or anything. Thing, okay. Now, okay. Are you having trouble? Not so much. Okay. Voila. Look at those layers, man. That's what I'm talking about. Skills. And I mean, Process. you can definitely tell that the noodle is going two different directions. Layers. You know what I mean? The way you, you layered this way exactly. and this way. Exactly. That's what I'm talking about. That's It's beautiful. beautiful thing. And, and it was so easy, to be honest. Like, that's, I, I definitely don't make lasagna mostly because it seems like it's going to take way too long. But we did it in, what, like 15 I mean, minutes? Yeah, I mean, this is like a pretty quick it's process. A small process. Let's see if these noodles are actually cut, man. All right, let's start. Uh, cooked. Let's see. Let's, Let's get a little, get a little, little taste here, here, man. Cheers. Cheers. Oh man, that's beautiful. Oh. You see what I'm talking about? about the, you see what I'm talking about? The red peppers up in there. You taste them? I can taste the red peppers. That's what I'm talking about. It's not too spicy. No, it's it perfect, man. You did good, Dave. We did, did good, good, man. You did good. Thanks for stopping by, man. This has this been a great pleasure Thank you of so mine to have you. you on here. I'm glad to be here. Feel free to stop by and say hi to Walt next time you're at, at J&H. Yes, indeed. Yeah. I'll be around. <laughs> he ain't going nowhere. 26 in. I'm looking for more. All right. I'm hungry. Thanks, man. Thank you, sir. I appreciate you. Thank you for joining us here on Baker Dave Presents. And a special thanks to my dear friend, Chef Walter Gordon, and his amazing lasagna recipe. I totally understand why so many people love it. Join us again next time on Baker Day Presents, and remember, every recipe has a story.